Today I'm going to show you how to make a stake out pole for under 20 bucks. You can go to the store, buy these parts, put it together and have it with you tomorrow when you go out fishing. Welcome Texas Coast Sportsman, I'm Aaron. As you can see, we are not on the water today, but more importantly, we're getting ready to be on the water. So in my videos, you may have noticed my stakeout pole. It's uh, purple, purple with a PVC white top. My issue was I was looking for a three quarter inch fiberglass rod locally, couldn't find it. Somebody just told me, go to Walmart, look in the garden section. He said you might have to dig around. I thought he was crazy. I walked straight to them. <laughs> So the fiberglass uh, pole in question is made by miracle Grow. Three quarter inch fiberglass pole. It's actually a little over three quarter. I wanna say it's like a 16th over. Great part is it is UV rated. You can have it outside in the sun. It's not gonna break down the resin that the fiberglass pole was uh, assembled with and it'll be good to go. And not gonna lie, purple's not a bad look. It's not a bad look at all. We are putting this one together for my buddy, Mike. You've seen him in my videos. We're meeting up in June, we're going fishing. It'll be the first time he and I uh, hopefully do a little kayak fishing together. We are taking his boat though. We're gonna make the handle out of CPVC fittings. Difference between this and the white PVC is this is actually uh, rated to withstand heat. The reason we went CPVC has nothing to do with the heat rating. It has to do with the fact that it actually is a larger inside diameter. Uh, when I assembled mine, I ground down, ground down, then ultimately ended up hammering on the piece. Um, and I didn't wanna go that route. I wanted a quick slip. I wanted no tools for you guys to put this thing together. So I took my calipers, did some measuring, and I found that this will slide very nicely over the three quarter inch rod. Little bit of play, but you know what? The epoxy is gonna make that up very quickly. I just bought these little bushings to, uh, to put my caps on to my T-handle to, uh, to finish it out, give it a little more grip. So let's mix up some, uh, some JB Weld, epoxy, any two-part uh, two uh, adhesive you wanna use. Yeah. 
to thank you for joining me for this quick build today. As you can see, it took no time at all. All the parts readily available at local stores. Man, she's clean. Actually, kind of kind of like it better than the first one I made for myself. I put out an extender because I thought I needed a wider handle, um, but that's perfect. That's perfect grip right there. So, Mike, this one's yours. I'll see you in June. Everybody else, like, share, subscribe. Help me grow this channel, and I hope to see you on the water. You hear that? I hear fish.